This improv story is man finds secret room in Moz house. Let the story commence. Craig went into his Moz house. She wasn't well. She had a bad, bad leg and her back, her back was a bit bad and she needed a bit of help around the house. No much. She was like, oh, I can do this myself. No more, you sit down. You see, the da had died many years ago and they moved for the family house they used to have. She moved into a kind of weird uh, sort of house. Um, it was an alright house and everything, but it was the, the one that he, he knew that well. And he says, right, I'll, 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 I'll clear up. It used to be her sister's house, but her sister moved away to Australia where a man when they retired. So she sold her that a uh, bit of, you know, cut price type of thing. Complicated. And, uh, and Craig remembered the house because it was auntie's house. Remembered it, didn't know that well. Remembered going there now and again when he was wee. Oh, I, it was, for the outside, he remembers that you come up this way, this way, and there's a sort of wee, like, staircase that goes outside there and then there. And then a sort of buzzer door, he remembers it. But he doesn't know it that well. I didn't know that well. Um, he says, right, I'm going to tidy up, place a bit of a mess. Don't say that. You make me feel bad. No, it's not your fault. And don't say that as well. It's not your fault. Feeling sorry for me. I'm not feeling sorry for you. I'm just saying, if my leg was a bit done in, which it has been, and my back was done in, which it has been, I wouldn't be able to move about that much. So, you know, the place would get a wee bit messy. She's like, oh, just tidy up. I don't want to hear this. So he was tidying up. And he went into the kitchen, and he's like, uh, he'd been he'd been in the house before, but he just hold on. I did clear my nose there. Um, he vaguely remembered the kitchen, his auntie's kitchen when he was younger. They went round for like a Christmas thing or something once. He remembered the lino on the flare, and there was a, uh, they changed the, the cabinets and all that, but he kind of remembers the window he looked to it, and there it was, there was this library across the road, he remembers that, he remembered that, right, um, and he went about the house, and he went into her room, and then, he'd never been in there before, just sort of tidying up, and then, he went to this, walked past the, down the hall, and there was a wee door, about that size. About that size. And that wide. My wee handle and everything. Like because it's kind of up the top of the building. So it's a sort of roof thing. Roof. Is that a 45 degree angle at that bit? And then kind of like that, that air there. Right? So it's a wee door about that size. And... He's like, I wonder what that is. It's got a wee handle on it. That's funny. It's got a wee handle. So if somebody's going to go walking in and out. Um, he thought, I wonder what that is. But his ma came out into the hall. She said, what are you doing? Just stalling about. Hurry up and tidy up. He said, what's that there? What, what's that? Is that like a wee cupboard or something? She says, none of your business. Don't mind that. That's nothing to do with you. I don't want you looking in there. That's just nothing. Don't look in there. There's nothing interesting about that. Hurry up. How long is it going to take you to tidy up? Don't bother looking in that wee door. There's nothing in there. Come on, get a move on. There's nothing to see there. Whatever you do, don't look in there. Because it's no interesting. And he went, all right, right. So he went like that. Here, what's that air there? And she went, what air where? And when she turned around to look... He thought, now that she's looking away, now that I've distracted her, this is my chance to have a look in here without her knowing it. So he opened the door and it was, um, it had a wee corridor, concrete. A wee concrete corridor with wee lights. You know, like kind of backstage, backstage at some sort of big uh, auditorium. Like the SECC, the, the Armadillo or something like that, kind of, you know, these concrete, you know, these sort of corridor sort of things. 
wee lights and all that. You know, like a, a science facility in some science fiction film where the day things, stranger things, that kind of thing. Um, he said, what the fuck is that? And he turned around and looked at his maw and his maw was they turning around. And he went, eh, what's this? And she still didn't turn her in. And he went, Mum, you all right? And he walked up to her and she was like this. Like frozen. He went, what are you doing? And he touched her. And she pure did not move. It was a weird feeling. Like nothing, there was no give whatsoever. See this? That, none of that. He touched her hair. Like a strand of hair. And it was like fucking cast iron, man. Like that, just... Rock solid. Everything. What the fuck is this? It's like frozen in time. And he picked up, there was a wee bit of paper that, that was lying on the ground. It was a wee receipt that had dropped, you know, that he should have picked up and tied it away. And he rolled it up in a wee ball and he chucked it at her. Mum! So I chucked it at her face. And when it sort of got near the face, it went, yum. And it fucking what? And he went out of it. And he, he held it and he couldn't move the fucking thing. It was floating there, but that much away from the face. And he looked out the window. Everything was stopped. Everything. Birds in the sky, like that. Everything was completely frozen in time. He looked at the door, went to the, the, the hall, and that door was open. He's like... He went out of it. Started to shut it out. And he shut it from open and opened it. And during that wee short period, see the bit of paper that it hit against, it hit her a bit and bounced and it froze again when he shot it. He's like, right. Froze again when he opened it, I mean. Right. He went, right, I'm going through here. So he went through the corridor and it was like, it was like crawling through a vent, you know, like, the, like in Die Hard or The Breakfast Club. Or Yoda in uh, Revenge of the Sith or whatever the fuck it was. Hurry! You know that bit? Hurry! Remember that? You know what, what bit I'm on about? Um Hurry. Careful timing we will need. Like that. Hurry. Hurry. Timing we will need. Hurry. Hurry. Careful timing we will need. Activate Like that. But you didn't say that. We'd have no reason to say that. So he's crawling through it, and there at the other end was a another door. And he went, it looked the same as that one back there, and he opened that. And he went through. And there was everything. Basically came at the other end, it, like he opened up and there was his morgan. 
He went, right, wait a minute, wait. And he looked back at the other end of the corridor, he could see that door was open. He's like, what the fuck is this? And that was his ma. And he got out and he shut the door. And everything went back to normal. And she turned around and she went, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Hey, what you didn't hit me with a bit of paper? Why did you do that? That's daft. You're being annoying. And by the way, get away from that door. I told you not to go through there. There's nothing there. And he went... Your hair's different. She said, it's because you just after hitting me with a bit of paper, it's messed up my hair. He went, no. You have your, like... You're, you just kind of had like kind of straight sort of hair and it was sort of like parted at one side. The other part was on the other side. He went... And he looked out the window. He looked out the window. And see all the buses? There was an advert on the bus for... um um. Uh, Hawkeye on Disney Plus except all the writing was back to front all the writing was back to front it's not a sponsored stream he was like right um and he said, he said to his ma, right, what is that? What is that there? And she said, it's a door that I found once. Did you go through it? Aye. And he said, so... What's it all about? And she she says, I don't know. I wait, I, you know, I don't I don't know. And he went. Now here, here's here's a here's a big twist. And he remembered his ma. He went like Ma. Picked up the receipt that you know he crumpled up. He says, I crumpled this up by the way. I don't know if you want it, I was just gonna bin it. And showed her the receipt. And and she went, Oh, that's fine, just bin it. He says, Well, I'll read it for you. Because she always had trouble reading. She'd always had trouble reading. He's more. And then it fucking clicked. You know, he's got a bit of goal. I'll, I'll read it for you, don't worry. She always had trouble reading. Happened when, when he was about 10. She suddenly just had trouble reading, do you know what I mean? He went like that. This all looks back to front to you, didn't it? And she went, aye. And he went, You've always had trouble reading, didn't you? She went, aye. And he went, So you, are you my ma, are you my ma then? She went, I am, I'm your real ma. The other one went through there. If that's the one I had trouble reading, but I also have trouble reading because I came through here. That she's no your real I'm your real ma. She's the one that went through. Do you know what I mean? So she's always had trouble reading since since we swapped. I've had trouble reading because it's all back to front. I have to read it in a mirror. And he's like, that's right. He'd always she'd always be like reading next to like this kind of like uh 
cabinet sort of thing. She had like well makeup and all that and next to the mirror. She always looked in the mirror. I always thought it was kind of funny. And he went, why, but is it no mad coming through here? But everything's back to front. I said, no mad coming through here, but everything's back to front. And she went like that. This through here is the right way around. You're the one that's back to front. And then another Craig stepped to a wee door that was up up in the loft, just stepped to stepped and fell. And Craig thought, I think this other Craig's meant to try and kill me, but he fucked it up and he fell. Because he stepped through a hole in the, you know, the fucking loft thing. And he fucked it up. So Craig, old Craig, kicked fuck out the other Craig. And killed him. But here's the thing. Earth Craig is the one that fucked it up because that's the right side. The back to front way is the way things are actually meant to be. We're on the wrong side right now. We're on the wrong side. The Craig that fell, that's Earth Craig. See this other Craig? I don't know who he is. We're on the wrong side. And here's the thing. See the Soviets, the Russians, they were experimenting with these portals fucking centuries ago. That's why they got so powerful. And you, you can see to this day that Summit has influenced the letters. They were fucking about with not just back to front places, but upside down places. Look. Look at that! Look at that! And that! Places that were back to front and forward. And that! Look at that! Now that's where the story ends, but I've got a wee ending for you. It's something for you to think about. Is there a door? Well, is there a door in your house that you've not opened? Or maybe even one in your mind? So we in it there. The Wayne knows something's no right. Wayne's know when there's something no right. That's the end, by the way. The Wayne's know when there's something no right. Same with, with dogs, like in the Terminator. They know. They've got an inbuilt thing they need to have for a very early age to know if there's uh, something no right with the world. And that's a true story. How do I know? Because I'm no the real limit. The real one who looks just like me. 
Akaudum.